So what's up guys, it's your girl April and so I was contacted by Virgin Head which is another hair company. This one is of course in the United States. So they did send me um, some bundles in a the closure. Theirs is a little bit different than normal because they have like these tassels on the end so yeah. So the hair that they sent me is their Amer um, Armenian Exquisite um, hair which is amazing like I've never had Armenian hair so this is something different for me the Armenian exquisite and I do have a uh, 14 inch closure a 16 18 and 220 inch bundles of hair which is really fairly inexpensive so you can always check out their website because they have some really nice hair for like a really great price so here is the actual bundle it's all wrapped up it has its label on it it smells really good and this is the natural wave um, and it also has the tag and the name of the company the origin the texture and the length which is really helpful because a lot of times companies either put it on the bag and it's like well what color or what length is this basically so this hair color is kind of dark um, than normal and I will say this it's darker than normal but I like this darkness and the hair strands are they do feel different like they don't feel like the hair from AliExpress. It feels coarser. It just has like this totally different look and feel to it. But one, the strands are thicker, and I just cannot explain to, explain to you um, the feeling. But it has like this totally different look, appearance, and feeling. So anyway, on the back of their cards, it has the care instructions and things of that nature you know all the important stuff but this hair is like bomb ass for real um the bundles are really neatly coiled together the bearding is really neat um it is double wefted on a scale of one to ten i would basically definitely give this hair a number ten because of the look and feel of it you know that commercial just popped in my head all of a sudden the look the feel of cotton i know you guys know that and i know this has nothing to do with the video but it just like popped in my head when i said that but anyway, so yes, I'm going to make a bomb wig with that hair. Now, for the closure, the knots in it are really good. The hair density is thick, and it still has, like, that same texture feeling as the bundles do. And they look identical. The same darkness, the same wave pattern. Um, They just look identical to one another. And this is, like, really some pretty hair. This is gorgeous. Like, seriously gorgeous. It's not all uniform. You can tell the difference. It's, like... Literally some gorgeous hair. And oh my god, did I forget to show you guys the things that was also in this other satchel? Because I did actually look at this before. And I'm like, wait a minute. I know that there's something else. So it does come with a sleeve and it has these young ladies on here. I'm not really sure if this is the owner's, but it does have a 10% off on the back that I will link below. You also will get a wig cap. And these are the good ones. These are the ones, the fishnet wig caps. I absolutely love these ones you guys know i always have these on i did get an eyeshadow palette by nika new york i think that's how you pronounce it with these colors right here which will go to my makeup collection so that is the plus and also some of my favorite lashes um which i love these lashes so they must have been watching me these are the individuals and these are the flares um individual lashes and these are the only kind of lashes i wear i wear long and medium so i love these now we can get on to the finish yes to this armenian hair okay or armenian hair just get it right april just get it right so first of all let's talk about this hair this is some beautiful natural loose wave hair do you guys see how wavy this is y'all know i am like a huge sucker for anything that's loose wavy okay i love loose wavy hair a huge sucker for loose wavy hair um i really don't know what to say because the quality of the hair is like really really pretty you know what i mean um when i was washing it it did shed of course it did shed um it didn't shed a lot but it was enough for me like enough for me means okay average that's acceptable if you go past acceptable then i'm not really with it you know what i'm saying but it was enough for me so it was like average it was good amount of shedding you know what i'm saying um i didn't seal the west i never seal the west in my tracks i really don't know why i just feel like you know what when you sew through it it just is hard that stuff makes it really stiff it's kind of like hard to maneuver around it so i just don't seal the west in my tracks the quality of this hair is like so pretty like i i just love loose wavy hair and the cuticles of it are kind of thick you know what it, it just reminds me a lot of my other hair which was raw Raw hair yes virgin head like they got some good hair like on some realness like I, 
Oh, baby. For the most part, it came out so pretty. I just washed it put it on my hanger and hung it upside down to dry. When I first let it dry, because sometimes I really don't like, I mean, let me, let me, let me go back, okay? I like to hang it upside down, but sometimes when you hang it upside down, it'd be all fluffy and full right here where the part is at. And I'd be just looking like a helmet head and I'd just be feeling like, you know what? That's not the look I was going for. Like, I really want people to see I got a part. I really need it just to look natural. Like, I don't want it to be full right there at the root. So sometimes what I do is I'll, allow, I'll let it air dry on the mannequin head to where it gets kind of like damp. And then I'll take it off and hang it upside down. So it still gives it more volume down here, but not as much volume at the root because I just don't want that you know what I'm saying like I just don't want that okay right I always use topic because I have thin edges and if you want your edges to look real and snatched then use topic or strand maximizer I use them both um, and if your edges ain't thin but you want it to blend in perfectly then use those two of my favorites <laughs> hunties to the hairspray gods if you guys want the perfect hairspray, check out Aussie. Instant Freeze, which is number four, Extreme Hold. And number three, Hairspray, two times the lift in one use. Number three. Love them both. These are my favorite. This will hold your hair, your freeze, your curls will be frozen. And this will give you more volume if your hair is limp. Okay. Mm. Limp. No, you cannot use this on a man. All right. Mm. Let's get on with this tutorial. I'm first... Okay guys, so tell me what you think of this hair. This is so gorge, okay? Which means gorgeous, but shortened. Mm. Anyway, yes, the hair came out really cute. I do like it, really good quality hair. You guys know, like I said, sucker for loose wavy hair all the way by far, yes. So with that being said, make sure you check out the description bar for any info that may be posted there as well as that as I'm glad you guys stopped through and as always stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, let your girl know that you love her as much as I love you guys and as always um, stay diva and divalicious. Did I say that already? I don't even remember. But I know this much. I will see you guys real soon on the next video. So on that note, peace out.